All right, so back with another training log now. And if you are new to the channel, it's really all about me training towards a sub nine hour Ironman. And look, one thing I think I've come to realize this week is that if I'm gonna stick with this sport long enough to actually go under nine hours, I need to be having fun. If I'm not enjoying the training, I'm not gonna be able to train for long enough to actually see this sub nine hour Ironman. So big priority of mine at the moment is to balance training and life outside of training while still enjoying the workouts. So with that being said, here's a full week of training, 21 hours while still balancing life outside of that. Monday afternoon, nothing fancy. It's just a two hour easy ride today. So I'll probably put erg mode on, maybe keep it at 160 watts, I guess. This is basically our recovery session for the week and then back into it tomorrow. Tuesday morning, we've got a bit of quality on the bike this morning where we're gonna do a 30 second sprint into one minute really hard into two minutes at VHU Max into three minutes at Threshold. So pretty good quality bike session this morning and starting to introduce a fair bit more work, I suppose, on top of just this aerobic base we've been working on. All right, here we go, round one. Here's number five. The way I see it is if I get through this one, the workout's pretty much done because you can always suffer through that one last rep. So really, this is the key one. Oh, man. Jeez, that was a hard workout. Like, once I got into the two minutes at 265 and the three minutes at 240, like that was controllable, but it's that first 90 seconds where we did 30 seconds at 550 and a minute at 340 that was just excruciatingly painful. But it's good to reintroduce some solid top end work now and get back into some good quality training as well as the volume that we'll build up. Whew. Tuesday lunch, 3K swim, mostly technique focused, but we'll do, I think, two 800s and then just a couple easy 100s in there with just some technique work. Okay, ended up being a pretty good session. I just decided to turn the first 800 meter rep into the weekly 1K for time, which I got done in 15 minutes, 19 seconds, but it's in a short course pool. So ideally I would like to see that time down below 15 minutes, but still heading in the right direction. Wednesday morning, two hour aerobic ride. I have woken up a little bit sore after yesterday's track session, so I won't be pushing anything too hard today. Maybe 180 to 190 watts, but all just gonna be on how I feel. Wednesday afternoon, 4K swim with the main set, just does 1K, 800, 600, 400 and 200. So pretty easy one to remember, but some good aerobic volume here. All right, 
all done. Pretty good session. Kept it all reasonably moderate throughout. Hope it splits up on the screen, but there's nothing really too impressive there. And that's one thing I think I'm working on at the moment is previously in training, I would mix and match a lot of high intensity sessions with low intensity sessions on the same day. But now moving forwards, I'm trying to do all my threshold stuff on one day and all my aerobic stuff on a separate day so that I'm kind of matching the same adaptations that I'm trying to create even across swim, bike and run. So this morning, aerobic ride, this afternoon, aerobic swim, and then tomorrow, threshold work for the run and the ride. So I figure that way I'm either trying to, you know, adapt to an aerobic stimulus or a threshold stimulus on separate days rather than trying to mix and match different workouts with different stimulus on the same day. Thursday morning, it's been four by 2K at a medium effort with about 500 meters recovery between. So I was back on that hill that's near my place that's 4K long with a 2% gradient and doing most of my efforts running up that. I certainly feel like it's a really good way to build good solid strength in the legs as well as a bit of speed. All right, Thursday afternoon, we've got four by eight minutes at threshold this afternoon, but I'm back home on the family farm for the weekend. So that means we get a workout with a view this afternoon. That means we're not gonna do anything too crazy this afternoon. Four by eight minutes at 240 watts should all be pretty well controllable. So Friday morning, I recorded some really great content and gave away a bunch of my training secrets. But my SD card was being used to upload last week's video and I didn't realize that if I have earphones in, my phone won't actually pick up any audio. But nonetheless, it was just a classic two hour aerobic ride to start out the day. So it's Saturday afternoon and I'm only just now starting the long ride because last night we just had a family wedding on and late night so i'm not going to rush anything get up early in the morning or try and do any training because i'm not recovered and it's no real point trying to get in any actual sessions so this afternoon we're just going to keep it super relaxed like we're going to aim for two hours but it's not going to be any pressure i feel like going longer go longer but i feel like going shorter go shorter it's going to be really easy throughout i might even put a movie on rather than looking at swift here and keep it super relaxed uh, i said in the last few videos at this stage of my training I'm not going to make any sacrifices on family occasions just to get some training in. There'll be plenty of time for that when it gets closer to the race. But for now, just enjoying a good, balanced lifestyle of training and socialising. So for now, just cruise into this session. Nothing hard. We'll just bang out a couple hours on the bike. Right now I am two hours and 47 minutes into the long ride. Probably go to about three hours, but feeling pretty comfortable. I'm actually really surprised how easy it is to go over two hours indoors nowadays. Like back in the day I would always do, you know, up to six hours indoors, but it's a real struggle. But now I guess after doing almost daily two hour indoor rides, going up to three today feels like nothing it's super easy to say it's a hopefully a really good sign that i've built a really solid base and that i will be able to transfer that out onto the road but for now really happy with how i'm feeling taking a pretty balanced approach to training not going like all in to sacrifice everything else in my life to get some training in so just having fun and i actually feel like i'm the fittest i've ever been right now so go figure Sunday morning, it's time to finish out the week with the classic two hour long run.
is down 22.12 kilometers, 5.16 per kilometer, one hour, 56 minutes. That's a pretty good way to end out the week. Just did basically two of those hill reps, so I suppose 8K running at a 2% grade, and that's really like kind of like my main set, I guess, for the run. So I think that's one of the best ways to yeah, build up that good strength endurance. All right, just before we really finish it up for the week though, let's just throw in a nice easy ride on the Sunday afternoon. Go for an hour, probably like 140 watts, so all super easy. Just some recovery stuff before we get into a big week next week. Alright, now we're done for the week.